I'm Brian Mann. Um, I own White Pine Paving. Uh, we're based out of Maryland, and um, the truck is called Ribbon Runner. The uh, main inspiration for the truck was a, a good friend of mine I went to school with. It passed away, and um, uh, we decided to do something as far as uh, to build a truck to celebrate basically her life. Yeah. And um, bring awareness to cancer, all kinds of cancer, not just breast cancer, but all kinds of cancer all, all around. Her, her name was uh, Debbie Schaefer. She uh, was a good friend of mine. I mean, we were actually a boyfriend and girlfriend in high school for a little time. And um, her parents basically, well, basically her mother helped, helped basically raise my wife, existing wife, my wife today. Yeah. And um, so, you know, we grew up, we had a, her and I had a, certain relationships. She's probably the only girl that my wife was never jealous of me being around by myself. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you guys are just great friends, right? And you have yes, a long yes. history, right? And uh, even uh, she actually, from high school up, she had actually cut my hair until the day, three days before huh. she passed away. Huh. I called up, basically called her and told her I was canceling the appointment because I didn't want to put her through any stuff. And she's like, you get your ass here. And you know, <laughs> so I had to go up and I was basically her last haircut. Wow. But anyhow, oh, um, they were just great people, and uh, or she was great people. And I, her mother today, I still am very, very good friends with them. I bought the truck used um, in 06. It is a 98 uh, Peterbilt 379. Um, it's got a, uh, a C12 CAD in it with um, eight speed. Uh, the truck itself is all original. Uh, as you can tell, the body's not you know, not perfect and, uh, you know, you'll notice things on it that's not exactly perfect, but the truck is all original. It's got over 1.2 million miles on it. Right. And up till uh, probably eight years ago, we ran this truck every day. Yeah. And then when we were building it, we were planning on putting it back out on the road to run. And, uh, but I heard so much flack from everybody because the truck turned out so nice that they wanted it. They, they said, you're not running this truck no more. So. I ended up buying two trucks to replace it with. Right. Just kind of dedicate this to, to the yes, show. and it, this just strictly strictly goes to shows now. Um, basically, hopefully, it raises aware helps raise awareness sure. um, for the cause. Right. A lot of the stuff that we've done, all this up in the air cleaners and stuff like that, that's uh, all laser um, laser cut. Same way with the muffler guards and all that stuff. The yeah. grills like the same way. Yeah. Um, everything's backlit with pink light pink lighting and everything but yeah we definitely definitely put a lot 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 of detail into this thing that we could yeah yeah we're we're very proud of it we, we got a lot of work into it yeah. a lot of work into it this is j this is j and j body okay. i actually have a brand new body that we that we just bought oh, okay that's going on it is you know it's getting put on this winter gotcha. um but we're going to redo we're going to redo the truck i mean the cab and the hood are not going to be redone but when we built the truck, it's going back out on the road. Yep. So we didn't pull the motor, we didn't pull the transmission. We did have pulled the rears because we put new frame rails under it. Um, but um, we didn't pull the motor and transmission or nothing out of it. So we did not do the truck correct for a show truck. This winter, yeah. it's coming apart, the whole truck. I mean, we're gonna pull the cab off and the hood off, set it over in, the, uh, in one of the bays at the shop and it'll sit there and then we're gonna redo the whole thing. Motors coming out, transmission, rears, everything's coming out of it. Right. Um, once we put it back together, then it'll go up to the body shop and they'll mount the body and everything. Right. And um, we're, we're really excited about that. We're really excited about the body. Yeah, cool. Cause, this, Cause that's the main, that's the downfall of this truck at all the shows that we've been to. Um, that's what hurts us. Yeah. We always have a lot of people that call, you know, can we get the truck at this show? Can we do this? Can we do that? How much is it going to cost us to have the truck? You know, and we're like, if the truck's available, it don't cost you a dime. Right, right. But the truck is always out. Oh, every weekend this truck is somewhere, somewhere because people wow. people want it. And you know what? There it is. I don't have a problem with that. You know, I'm not, I didn't build the truck to make money off.